There are a variety of graphic organizers you can use as hooks to capture your students' attention before beginning your lesson. The word web encourages students to engage with content through critical thinking, supports students who need vocabulary development, and increases communication skills. This activity is simple and, more importantly, completely student-centered. All you need to begin is a large sheet of paper. Write a central term related to your new lesson in the center and circle it. Then ask your students what that word makes them think of. Okay class, before we start our new lesson on precipitation, I wanted to take a couple minutes to see what we already know about it. What does the word precipitation make you think of? Hmm. That makes me think of rain. Ask your student to explain their rationale for the association they made. And once they do, draw a line connecting the two words. This encourages students to make associations between upcoming content and prior knowledge. Students build off each other's responses, creating engagement and class-wide discussion. Great word, Sully. Why did you pick rain? Last year, we learned that rain is one of the main types of precipitation. You are very right, Sully. Why did you pick snow? One time, my family and I built a giant snowman in our backyard. Well, that sounds fun. Who else would like to share? I just read a book called The Big Blizzard where a bunch of pioneers got caught in a snowstorm. Way to bring literature into our scientific discussion. I love when you make relationships between your different subjects. Not only does this activity help students see connections across other curricula, but it also helps you learn about each student's existing knowledge by observing the connections they make between words. The best part is that there are only right answers. This will increase their confidence and engagement with the upcoming content. After several connections to the main word, you can start adding to the secondary ones and see what your students come up with. Great connections, everyone. Thanks for precipitating. <laughs> Before we start the lesson, let's take a few minutes to talk with our partners about the observations we've made. After completing the word web, ask your students to turn and talk with their partner about the activity. This will support participation for quieter students and help build communication skills. After you finish your lesson, you can revisit the word web as a class and add to it to see what your students have learned. The word web requires minimal preparation, so it can be used often. However, to avoid disengagement from overuse, use it interchangeably with other graphic organizers, such as a KWL chart or a Venn diagram. Using this strategy before starting a new lesson will connect the students' prior knowledge to what they are about to learn and engage their interest. <laughs>